Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be finally hydro dipping Funko Pops. So let's get started. Alright guys, so you've been wanting this for a long time, so we're going to be doing it. I actually have a bunch of DIY figures, um, so we've got six of them here. I don't know if I'm going to do all of them, but I brought them all home just to test them out. I for sure want to do a Dumbo, which I think is going to look really good with all the colors on it. As well, we have Mickey Mouse, Bo Peep, Simba, um, and I think that's it. So we also did a test on one of them which I want to show as well, because this one, I didn't know how well it was going to go because it wasn't primed, um, and it seemed to have worked pretty well. So here's what we've got, guys. I know it looks bad on the face, but I just want to see how it would look on white, and Chef Louie's hat was completely white. I had a couple extras of this one, so I tested it, and it looks pretty good. I mean, for our first test, it's not bad. It's still drying a bit. We missed a couple spots, but I think we finally understand how to use it, and it's going to look pretty good. So the three colors that I got today is like a fluorescent orange, green, and pink. Um, and we're going to be doing it over here. I'm going to test it out, see how it goes. This should be fun. So I guess let's set you guys up, and let's get started. Grandpa, which one do you think is going to look the best? Simba, Dumbo, Mickey, Bo Peep? Hey, listen, all of them are going to be wild. I know. Well, that one, you were surprised by this one, how it turned out, eh? Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I think we're going to do Dumbo first. So let's test it. Okay, all right guys, so we are here right now. This is it. We tested it once like I showed you with the Chef Louis, and it worked pretty well actually. It worked better than I expected, and that one's not even primed. So we have the Dumbo here, and I'm actually super excited to see if this is going to work. I think it should because this is already primed, so I don't have to prime it at all. Um, and we're going to be doing two colors today. We're going to be doing green as well as this orange here. So I guess let's just start spraying, and we'll see how this turns out. All right guys, so there we go, that should be good. Now, I'm gonna hold this, because the problem is I wanna get most of the figure colored, so I'm gonna try and hold it as small as I can, or like as, as least I can at the bottom here. So let me, if I hold it right there, this should work. Okay, here we go, guys, we gotta do it on like a 45 degree angle as well, because I've heard that works the best. Uh, thank you to the king of random for that video, but let's see how this goes, guys. We're gonna do this slowly, fingers crossed this works. Okay, here we go, clean this off. Okay, let's see what this, okay. I'm nervous, this is our first real test here anyway, so let's see. Hey, you know what, that looks pretty good. It's a little bit, uh, I would say white in some spots. Maybe the ears were a little tough to actually put the uh, paint on, but that looks pretty good. I, I guys, I, I just noticed this too. Um, you gotta be careful where you touch it because I knocked the paint off on the back, but I would say the front looks pretty good. Okay, so here is the Dumbo somewhat dried. I think it looks pretty good. Um, like I did say, my fingers like kind of moved around on it and it got it a little bit messed up there. You just can see also the ears didn't do as well as I'd hoped. So we're gonna try again. Maybe I'll even put more spray paint because we're kind of testing it here. Um, I do think it looks pretty good, just uh, not perfect yet. All right guys, so I'm looking at which figure we should do next. I'm thinking we either do Bo Peep here, which is a great one, or Simba. I think Simba would be another great one to do as well. So maybe we'll do Simba because this one's got some pretty good detail on it. And I'd like to see this one in some cool colors. Okay guys, so this time we have the Simba ready to go here. This one's gonna be a little bit different because he's got small parts on him. So I'm gonna try and go a little bit slower this time. And I found, I'm just gonna hold his tail because you can't see that inbox. That should be the best way to do it. So I'll just hold it on a 45 degree angle, slowly dunk it in. And um, for the colors, green as well as pink. So let's get spraying. Yeah, I guess that. Okay guys, now I had also seen this as well where you can kind of swirl it around a bit. So I'm gonna try that. I know it's gonna be kind of tough, but here we go guys, here we go. Just like this. Make almost like little lines in it. Fingers crossed this works. I mean, here's the thing. I want more pink and green to be mixed together. Okay guys, here we go. Hmm, okay, clear this away. I think this might look pretty good. It's gonna be a little bit lighter than the actual pink that was there, but look at that. Okay, that's cool. I like that one a lot. Whew. Let's go let this thing dry. All right guys, so here's the Simba figure after it's dried a little bit. I'm gonna be honest with you, when I tried turning it around, I dropped it um, and the paint was still kind of wet. So I did get a little bit on the back, which is really annoying because it was the best one. I was so mad when I dropped it, but at least it still looks really good from the front. And you guys can see where I did hold it on the back there, it did get a little bit of paint off of it because there was no paint um, you know, touching the actual figure there because of my fingers were on it. But I think this is our best test so far. And now we're gonna try it with Bo Peep and possibly Mickey. 
All right, guys, so we have the bow peep here. I gotta be careful when holding it. Now, we realize this too, it's got a stand on it, so I'm a little bit worried about this, but I've noticed if I hold the stand at like a 45 degree angle, it stays pretty well. So we're gonna try that and just kind of dip it in. And then this one should get the most coverage because I'm not actually holding it with my hands on the figure anywhere. Um, and for this one, we're gonna try all three colors, which is gonna be kind of tough for me to do, but I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. Um, so I guess we'll just get start spraying, uh, maybe with green first. All right guys, so we're just gonna let this kind of come to the middle there so we have all the colors. Now, what I'm probably gonna do here is, I don't know, should I do it maybe more towards the edge here where all of the colors are? And then that could look good. So I'm gonna try that, guys. So let's hold Bo Peep in the right spot. So I found if you hold her kind of like this, she stays on the standstill. So we're gonna try that here, guys. So let's do this and see how it goes. Oh, can you? Looks good. Okay, cool. Now I gotta move this around a bit, guys. And then let's see. Okay, there's, I don't see too much color on the front of it, but that does look pretty neat. Let me pull it out here and see what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of a, um, an egg almost. You know what I mean? Like a, uh, an Easter egg. But then also on the back there, guys, it looks a lot better than the front. Okay, so here is the bucket after we're done. Um, it's really painty, so I'm gonna have to dump this out somewhere. We'll do it safely, don't worry about that. But I think the uh, fluorescent colors, if you guys are gonna do this, works really well. And all you guys have to do is just spray this in and then dip it in slowly. Like I would do it like very slow. Um, and we kind of learned that as we went here. And you guys can see, you guys can see here, the bow peep looks pretty good um, from the front and back, but the front is a little bit worse just because I think the bonnet kind of held some of the paint towards the back there, so that one's gonna take a little bit longer to dry. Simba is still looking pretty good, even though we dropped him. I, I hate that I dropped him, but at least, at least he still looks pretty good. And then we've got Dumbo over here as well, which is our earliest one, so you guys can kind of see um, it's like a little bit drippy, but it still looks pretty good. And then our test over there, I like the colors, but they did mix together in a brown way. So if you guys wanna see this, um, again, where we dip more of them, let me know. But before we get out of here, we're gonna prime these and then we'll go back to the office and uh, check them out a little bit closer up. All right, Grandpa, out of the three of these, which one was your favorite? Little Bo Peep. You think so? <laughs> I think the three colors look good though, for sure, don't they? Yeah, great. It's good. But I'd try more color. I know, well, the problem was when we went to Walmart, they only had three colors. Oh, well, the, the, right, the right type of paint anyways, the Rust-Oleum. I want to make sure, oh, by the way, guys, Rust-Oleum is the one that I've used and I see a lot of people using, so I would recommend that one. Um, I'm not sure about any other ones, but try not to get metallic ones. I've noticed those ones don't work as well. Uh, but now, guys, like I said, we're going to wait, we're going to prime these things, and then we'll go do 360s of them. All right guys, so that is everything for hydro dipping today. I am at the office right now, and I think for my first attempt, we did okay. And I'm gonna go through these one at a time here. Also, I wanna mention that we did not use these ones today. These are the two DIY Mickey Mouse ones that somebody sent me a long time ago. I wanna save these because I feel like we can do a really fun video doing just the Mickey Mouse stuff by itself. Maybe we'll do like a painting challenge, or if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. I wanna do like someone versus me, or me versus someone else, I don't know, whatever, where we both paint one and we see which one you guys like better. Almost like how I did the, um, following a Bob Ross tutorial on a Funko Pop. I think it could be really fun to do something maybe similar to that. Kind of like how we're going back and forth versing each other while painting to see who makes a cooler figure or whichever one you guys like more. So, I don't know. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below. But let's get started with the first one here. I had to bring them in a box. So let's start with this one here, guys. So this was our test subject. This one right here is actually pretty good because what we did was, I mean, here's the thing. I only wanted to paint the hat, but it turned out to be more than just the hat. It turned out to be uh, pretty much his entire face. So we were just learning here. This is the first First time I had ever hydro dipped and I would say this side here turned out better than the other you guys can see here it's a mess but all I wanted to do here was see what it would look like if I just dipped it in with the amount of paint that I had it kind of looks like a donut on the top but yeah so I put the um, clear coat on top and this actually feels really nice it's a lot uh, more complete it feels like anyways before you put the clear coat on it feels kind of like just messy and a lot of paint on it and yes it is messy but it does look a lot better with the clear coat as well but anyways yeah so this is the first one we did there just the chef I want to try it out see how it went and I had a couple of this figure so I thought why not try it with this one because I didn't want to try it with the good DIY ones and then possibly ruin some good figures there so then next up we tried this one here which was dumb
Dumbo. Dumbo, personally, is one of my favorites that we did out of the three that we did today. Like, the three completed ones, I guess you could say. Um, but Dumbo does look great. Huge fan of this one. And I think it's really well done. Um, minus the fact that some paint spots kind of got a little messed up there. You guys can see, like, here it didn't get as much paint. And um, because I was holding it, um, what happened was, I don't know where I held it exactly. Maybe on the feet, I think, like, right here. Because there's no paint on this foot right here. So maybe I held it like this. Um, I'm not exactly sure. But I moved my finger and I got some paint off the back there. So that did get a little ruined, but it still looks really nice. And I like the way this one kind of turned out. I mean, from a distance, it looks pretty good. But again, this is my first time ever hydro dipping. So I really just wanted to test it out with you guys. It was more of an experiment than an art project because I didn't think it was going to turn out that great. So it really exceeded my expectations from what I thought it would look like. But next up, we did Simba. Now, Simba here is another great one. I like the green and the pink together. I think that really goes well together. Um, I also tried swirling it like I had seen in some tutorials um, for this, where you take like a small, like either a toothpick, I used a stick, because anything really works, uh, but I wanted to do it quickly. So you can take a toothpick and then you mix around the two paint colors and it kind of makes like smaller streaks or almost like arrows in a way, instead of just like circles on top, where this one doesn't even really look like the circles. It looks very similar to this one, but um, it might not get as much of one color depending on which ones you spray into the middle. Um, so I want to try that out. It worked pretty well. I like the front of this one. Again, I did drop this one. I'm so annoyed that I dropped it, but at least it still looks pretty good. I mean, there's not too much on uh, here that's on the front anyways. The back is really what got the brunt of the... Uh dirt there so you guys can see there's a little bit here um and my grandpa and i were gonna fix it but then we thought why not just leave it it's a test but it still looks pretty great in my opinion and again these are very abstract the way they look they're not gonna look like simba at all and i wish i had more colors but that's literally all i could find at the store and of course you guys know it's really hard to go out and go shopping right now so we just went over to walmart and picked up a couple colors while we were grocery shopping so that's what we got we got these three colors here but i tried doing this with bo peep where i put all of the colors together now for some reason with bo peep here i was having a little trouble on how the colors were going to mix together here especially with the pink and the orange because they are very similar colors so with that little bit of white in between it kind of you know differentiates the colors and looks a lot nicer you guys can also see kind of like that glossy film over the top of it as well for that uh, clear coat and then on the back here um, it looks really great as well. The only thing was is that the green was a little thick over here. So I tried my best with it, but I think it turned out pretty well. Anyways, guys, that is everything that I hydro dipped today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I know it didn't turn out the greatest, but I thought it turned out pretty good. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, <laughs> well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs, and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's going to do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.